Time now for arguably our most popular segment, the Weapon of the Week. And before I start, let me just say we know this week's entry is not a new weapon, folks, but it is one of the most sought after. Okay, so for fans of Ancient Greece and Track and Field... Oh, she's done it! What a huge throw for Carol Winger! The javelin throw may be one of your favorite pastimes. Super producer for Weapons and Warfare, Brett Baker, found out it wasn't actually an Olympic game in Greece until 708 BC, though. Fast forward a few thousand years, and javelins are very different. In 1996, the name was given to a new piece of technology. That would be the FGM-148 Javelin, or the Advanced Anti-Tank Weapon System. In the simplest terms, it eats tanks for breakfast but it's also been known to take out a boat from time to time. The Javelin started field testing almost three decades ago. It was designed by Texas Instruments. That's right, the calculator folks, and Martin and Marietta, now known as Raytheon slash RTX and Lockheed Martin. The Javelin made its combat debut in 2003 during the second Gulf War. It gained a renewed level of notoriety recently during the Ukraine war. That's because it's really good at killing tanks, specifically by employing a top attack, hitting the tanks from above where they're most vulnerable. So what makes them so devastating? Called a fire and forget missile, the operator is able to simply sight the target, lock on, and send it, as they say. The automatic self-guidance system takes over and deals death from above. Javelins are actually really effective, especially in, um, in the battlefield. Um, especially in our profession, whether it be light unit or you mechanize, uh, we're going to have to carry that and we're going to come up against some enemies that are going to have heavy, heavy uh, equipment and that javelin is going to basically let's overturn that fight. Equipped with an infrared seeker and armed with two shaped charges, the first charge detonates any reactive armor, while the second pierces the base layer. That lethality made them especially useful to Ukrainian armed forces, facing a seemingly endless parade of Russian tanks and armored vehicles in the early days of the war. And just to give you an idea of how effective javelins were, an article from March of 2022 from World News reported of the first 300 javelins fired by Ukrainian troops, 280 tanks were knocked out of commission. Javelins have multiple firing modes too, and can be used against a wide array of targets, not just tanks. Buildings and other fixed structures are well within their wheelhouse. About two dozen countries currently use javelins, another seven hope to add them to their inventory soon. Thank <laughs> you.